Today on the channel, it's Father Daughter Day as we unbox from Masters Universe Revelation Series 2, Tila and Man at Arms. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another He-Man and the Masters Universe Revelations unboxing and review, and today we're into Series 2 of Tila and Man-at-Arms. But for all your He-Man needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So now we're getting to the good guy phase of Series 2 of the Revelations line as we did unbox Spycor. We did unbox Beastman already on the channel. So now we got to do the good guys here. And Master Universe Revelation is a very interesting lineup out there as you guys are fully aware probably. You guys see in my Friday figure hunting videos all the Walmarts, all the Targets, they are pretty hung on Series 1, the Skele Gods, the Battle Cats out there, Targets with Fake Ore. We got a lot going on on the pegs. So Series 2 has been coming to online retailers out there, but I have not seen it in the Midwest. For You guys have seen my travels over the last month. No signs of these in the stores yet. I feel like the shelf is so backed up on the old series, I don't know if we'll see Series 2. And then there's been reports uh, out of the East Coast, of all places, East Coast of the United States, getting Series 3 at their Walmarts already. So I don't know where this is going. And then the news this week was Toys of the Year for 2021. This is one of the toys that's in the running for the Toy of the Year, which is very interesting to me. Nothing against these figures. I love He-Man figures. I love these are out here. I don't know, out of all the figures we collect out there and we buy and I unbox on the channel, I don't know if I'd put this line at the top, at the tippy top of toys out there, but sometimes you got to take that step back that people are looking at play school. They're looking at, you know, everything under the sun where we're more just action figure oriented on this channel for sure, but seems like a bit of a stretch for me. I don't know. You guys tell me if you think I like this line enough. It's, it's a great line. I'm going to get every single one. I just wouldn't put it as the top toy line of the year. It's just from where I sit, which as you guys know is right here. But anyways, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. We're going to do ladies first. That's what we always do. Ladies first. So Tila, she gets her time to shine here. And Tila, it's interesting. As we know, we're just, uh, as of filming here, we're about a week and a half, two weeks away from part two of Masters Universe Revelation. And Tila is one of the reasons most people have turned against this uh cartoon series i guess we'll call it on netflix out there now i understand people's gripes about it but i've said it before and i guess i'll say it again real quick now i'm okay with the series i want to see how it ends i want to see the back half i always felt like the the first half is like empire strikes back the second half is going to be like return of the jedi and it's uh you know good to see how that all shakes out before i really pass judgment but at the end of the day I'm just happy that He-Man is back on the shelves. He-Man is around again. Uh, how many years was he fairly dormant? Many. It's nice to get a new generation hopefully falling in love with He-Man, hopefully continuing the tradition of collecting. And hey, when it's time for Kyle to bow out of his He-Man collections and sell his collection, hopefully there's some young whippersnapper out there that has a love that came in during the revolution revolution revelation period and says, hey, I want those old He-Man guys. I'll buy those from you, old man Kyle. That's what we got to hope because think of antiques. There's a lot of fine china and stuff that people my age, I don't want anything to do with that. I don't want my action figures to go that way in 20, 30 years, but we'll see. You never know what might happen out there. Stay tuned, I guess. So I don't know. But let's take a look at the picture or the packaging on Tila here. There she is. Tila right down there by my hand. They got her name. You got Master Universe Revelations. You got the Netflix logo up top there. You got the multiverse multiverse that what it says masterverse gosh i'm all mixed up today i'm getting my marvel and my he-man masterverse right there as you can see and then it's got kind of those ruins kind of he-man hieroglyphics going on there and you got the big window box with the accessories everything else in the package this upc which i've never really been sure what that's all about there 30 points of articulation i almost said 22 i'm thinking mcfarlane i'm all over the place today 30 points of articulation on old tila Tila, the heroic warrior goddess right there. And I think we'll see a lot more of her story, obviously, in part two to see how that goes. I think she might turn into the new sorceress. That's what my gut's telling me. We'll see if that happens. Cool glamour shot on the side right there. Of course, the back of the package. You got the cross cell down below. You guys know I love a good cross cell. Empowering the future via play down below. You got a blurb. You got all that kind of stuff and a big glamour shot there. So let's see what it says 
about old Tila. See what she's up to here. Captain of the Royal Guard, warrior, hero. Tila has been many things in her life, but there's now only one word that can describe her best. Survivor. Oh, man. Did she win a million dollars when she went on Survivor? I don't know. Outraged by the secrets and lies from those closest to her, Tila has thrown down her sword and title and uses her battle-hardened skills to scavenge for magical artifacts for the highest bidder. But one can only evade their destiny for so long. And that's what I was doing. I was evading my destiny starting a YouTube channel for so long. Years and years, I didn't do it. And then my destiny called and I said, okay, a year and a half ago, Kyle, you should start doing this. And here we are. Here we are. For better or worse, you never know. Uh, back to the packaging here. We're used to that kind of gray, rocky background. We've seen that before. I think it is still pretty cool. See you later. Get out of here. How about a little plastic prison for our girl, girl Tila here? All kinds more of accessories than I thought going on here. Kind of a futuristic battle staff going on. She is also buckled in it. She does come with extra hands. Extra hands with Hugh, Tila. And she has got a lot of twist tie thingies on her. She does have one fisted hand, so kudos to you, Mattel. They were saying, you know what? Kyle's going to be mad if we don't have a fisted hand in here. And she does have one fisted hand. I'm not asking for two fists. I'm not asking for two. Two is great. Give me one. Just give me one. Wouldn't it be the ultimate swerve if Fisto didn't come with a fisted hand? Wouldn't that be something? I think the internet would be up in arms. We got Fisto and he has no hands. It doesn't make, or does, no fists. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, I would love to see that day. All right, let's get all this stuff out. See what's doing here. His hands, his hands, and there it is. Oh, dump all that out. See you later. Get out of here. All right, hand-wise, we've got a kind of open hand, uh, like a slapping hand, we'll call it. The slapping hand, and then we got the C-grip hand just to, to hold things. Uh, this one can transfer out with the fisted hand if you don't want the fists of fury flying with old Tila. And then we get staffs, like a battle staff, battle staff i guess a uh, nice black gray and then you got a little brown at the top it is a little warp so it will have to be kind of bent and heated back into place you can kind of do it with your own though uh, but nice coloring i'm glad that it just didn't put this all black we've seen toy lines that would just put this black and call it good putting the silver putting the brown in there looks really good to me uh this is like a sword yeah it's a sword is what this is and same kind of color scheme so it's kind of the army the praetorian Preternia Army. Gosh, I cannot talk today. Preternia Army uh, weapons here. I don't know what this is exactly. This looks like the hilt of a lightsaber. This looks like it's going to flame up and stuff. As I'm throwing things around, this is going off the rails. It's going right off the rails today. I don't know what's going on here. As I find this, there it is. But yeah, this is okay. It's okay. I don't think I'll be using this one, but I think that's what that is. Does that have the lightsaber? Is it a lightsaber? I don't know. Could be. But then we get down to Tila here, and Tila's got her fresh new haircut. Oh, people were up in arms about her haircut. It is what it is, but you had to show a change in the character. The character's changing the way she's doing things. That's what you do. Okay, you get a haircut. That shows a big change going on there. Uh, not the best Tila haircut, though. I don't know. I'd probably fire that barber. I don't know if that's the case. But all in all, you I feel like I know this is Tila. But then if you take that step back and you said... Okay, you're not gonna tell you're gonna tell somebody who is this, and you're not gonna tell them what toy line it's from or anything. Could they figure out this is Tila? That's always a good litmus test, and I'm actually not totally sure if they could. I don't know. I, I feel like, oh yeah, it's Tila, but if I didn't know what line it was from, I didn't just open this, and you put a bunch of figures together, McFarlane, everything else, say, okay, who is this and what line? I, I gotta think I would get it, but maybe not. I think there's a lot of people out there that would not. So I don't know what that says about things. It's definitely a different look for Tila. She's got a little uh, holder in the back here. I am guessing this is where this goes. Yes, it does. <laughs> it fits right in the back there. So that's where I'm going to keep that. That's the smallest piece on her, the most apt to be lost. So I'll put that right in there. Uh, but good coloring on this. Got the kind of white kind of robe thing going on. She does have her pants. It almost looks like a skirt, but these are pants on her. Then she's got her traditional boots with all the wrappings around them, kind of the fur on the top. Uh, no real fur or anything like that. She does have knee pads, green knee pads going on. She does have a nice satchel. Don't call it a purse. I think a warrior calls it a satchel. So she's got a satchel here. Does not open. It's just there for uh, looks, basically. Double jointed elbows on her. Double jointed knees as well. Ankles move all over the place, up and down, around and around. Got a boot cut to her. No thigh. Oh, nope. There is a thigh swivel. Almost said no thigh swivel, but there is. Uh, there's also bicep swivel. Uh, hands are removable, as you guys know. Arms go every which way, all around. 
up, down, all around, all that kind of fun stuff. So a lot of good with this Tila. Uh, I don't hate this. I'm sure she fits on a ringside collectible stand. You know, she probably will. Oh, fits like a glove. Mattel, keeping it all in the house. Uh, save 10%. Use discount code Kyle, ringside collectible. Spend your money on your figures, not your stands. And there he is. She fits perfectly there. So it's okay. You need this version of Tila in your collection for the Revelations uh, TV series. You have to. That's part of it. She's a big star of it. It'll be interesting what happens in part two, where she'll go from there. Will she look different? Will she change her look? Will her hair have grown out? Uh, will we get another Tila in series four, five, or six? I don't know. That is to be debated out there. But here's Tila here. I figured I'd grab a couple other Tilas from the Master Universe Classics line, of course. Uh, there's Tila, the Filmation-inspired Tila right there. And then you got the kind of attorney and goddess version. Uh, not green goddess, but, you know, the yeah, snake one, I guess you would call it. I don't know. And then you got the traditional one as well. Uh, to me, I, this is what I always think of with Tila, because I always go back to my original Masters of the Universe figures when I was a very small boy, as you guys know. And that's how I had her dressed in her kind of snake costume and her staff and all that. But a lot of different Tilas over the years. This one definitely sticks out like a sore thumb compared to the other ones here. I, you have to say that. I have to give that up. It's just the way it goes. But there it is. There's Tila, Master Universe, Revelations, Series 2. All in all, it's okay. It's not my favorite figure from the line, but it's okay put it at that but what I'm excited about and one that could possibly be my favorite is old Duncan old man at arms I'd have to put the pen to the paper very well could be my favorite Masters of the Universe character I've always loved man at arms I just love him in the new show as well kind of his fall from grace I guess we would call it but he's still tough he's there he's got that old man strength you gotta love old man at arms but there he is in the package looking only like a man of arms could look in the revelations line right there Looking really cool. You got his name down below, Revelations. You got the Netflix logo. You got the big clear window box so you can see everything that's going on. UPCs. You got the Masterverse. 20, no, 30. I keep wanting to say 20. 30 points articulation on these, as you guys know. Cool glamour shot of him looking only like he could look. Always like the look there. He's the heroic master of weapons, as we know. Man at arms right there. And then on the back, there he is. And more artwork there. Always great artwork on these. I love it looks cool you got the blurb you got the cross cell you got the warnings all that kind of stuff upcs on the bottom so let's crack him out of the plastic prison let's get him out pull him out same background as tila we got that gray ruins background see you later we know it we love it all kind of hands with man at arms here so we got every hand you could want we got two fists we got c grips we got slapping hands we got them all He's ready to go. He's the man at arms. He's got his trusty club, uh, his most iconic weapon. But I wouldn't have minded uh, maybe get rid of a set of hands and give us another little pistol or something like that. I think that would have been kind of cool. Uh, but we're here for it. we got to cut him out just like we had to cut Tila out, unfortunately. I don't know. It's weird how these toy companies, how they decide which ones are going to get uh, buckled in, which ones aren't. You know, Marvel Legends aren't buckled in. Uh, it's just weird. I don't know what the thought process is in that. It could be company to company changes. I don't know. But he is buckled in, but no longer. I'll pop these hands out. Hands. Get them out. And there it is. See you later. Get out of here as I throw twist ties all over the floor. That, that'll be fun for my vacuum later. All right. What do we got going on here? First thing that's annoying me right off the bat with this is he's got his beautiful shoulder gauntlet here but man it is very loose it is it is removable but boy it just kind of floats around flops around uh, i don't want that thing moving on me i think there's no way around it so that is really annoying right off the bat is how much that moves around he's got the same articulation as tila we went through all the articulations the same but gosh that's gonna annoy me uh, there's no way to tighten that up let's see can i get it higher up maybe Oh, there we go. I guess you put it a little higher up, but then it looks a little strange because it's overlapping his uh, vest. I don't know. It could have... I don't know. It is what it is, though. So that was a little annoying, but it's not the end of the world for sure. He does have his armor that we know Man of Arms for, of course. He's got his uh, knee armor there and arms. Man at Arms. There it is. Got his traditional helmet going on. I love the big, bushy uh, mustache he's got going on, too, in the Revelation series. I thought he looked really cool. Um, I just think that's a good look for him. I'm glad he doesn't have that long ponytail that we saw in the 2000 series. I wasn't really here for that one. And then he's got his traditional club. No coloring on this club. It's just the orange color we're used to, but you immediately know, oh, this is Man at Arms Club. Uh, it looks just like it fits the part of the olden times, of course. 
He's got his loincloth going on. He's got his belt going on. It's very interesting red kind of ruby right there in the middle where the rest are all plain. He's got his furry loincloth, furry boots. Uh, he's got the strapping on his boots, as you can imagine. We always see with the Masters Universe characters. And we already went through the articulation. But I'm here for this man-at-arms. Uh, that shoulder gauntlet's a little annoying when it gets loosened up a little bit. But this is the man-at-arms I know. I like this. I like the reimagining of this man-at-arms. Uh, I like his story arc, how he's kind of been fallen from grace, I guess. You know, uh, his daughter disowned him. His kingdom disowned him. His best buddy's He-Man is gone. He's just kind of left to live a nomadic life, like a young Obi-Wan Kenobi, one might say. Uh, but we'll see it all come full circle in part two, and I'm here for part two. Hopefully it uh, will be good. Hopefully everybody will be happy. We'll see what happens. You can't make everybody happy, as we know out there. But Man at Arms, I'm here for it. I do like this one more than Tila, just because it has such an iconic look to him. This is more of my Man at Arms, where it's not really my Tila, but nothing against this Tila, I guess. But we got some other Man at Arms we can compare to. Why wouldn't we, huh? You got the Master Universe Classics. We got a few different Man of Arms in the Classics look. This is probably my favorite one. I don't know. I don't really like the one with the long hair. That one just, it's something about that. It just doesn't feel right with Man at Arms. I, I don't know. Maybe you're with me. Maybe you're not. Uh, and then I got an Origins Man at Arms right here, too. I should have grabbed the Tila Origins figure. I didn't even think about that one. But there he is, old Duncan in the Origins. So, what do you guys think about these? Are you all in on the Revelations line? You're passing, you're thinking about it. Me personally, I'm kind of waiting for some long game clearance. I would like to get another He Man so I could use some of those faker parts to make a true faker He Man, if that makes sense. Uh, so I'm hoping to get one of those on clearance. But clearance isn't a good thing for the future of toy lines. And I don't know what we're going to see with this Masterverse line. I think if these don't really sell via the holidays, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. And I know they've announced some sets out. So we'll see where this all ends up going. But if they're not moving at retail, man, Mattel's going to back out of the line real quick. So fingers crossed these move for the holidays. Hopefully we start seeing Series 2 on the store pegs. Hey, Series 3 is already hitting some Walmart. So I hope I see those as well. Maybe the big shipping crisis uh, the world's in right now is a part of this shipping mess. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm here for it. I'm all in. As long as the line goes, that's how long I'm in for. But what about you guys? Tell me in the comments. Tell me your thoughts. Uh, are you happy? Are you going to watch the part two on Netflix uh, this Thanksgiving? Well, let me know that as well. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Sir Paul 64 on Twitter is where you'll find me. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Support the channel. So for another He-Man in the Masters of the Universe Revelations unboxing, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.